Assalamualaikum and a very good day to Professor Datuk Norzaini Azman and Dr. Farida Yunus. My name is Nur Yasmin Harani binti Zakaria and today I will be presenting my research proposal on the title of the development and evaluation of English language learning module for fellow secondary school students. In this presentation, I will briefly discuss the three main components of this proposal consists of introduction, literature reviews, and research methodology. In introduction, I will briefly discuss the background of the study, the problem statements, the research objectives, research questions, significance of the study, limitations of the study, and also operational definitions in this study. In Malaysia, English language is regarded as the second language after the official language. However, students from rural areas, especially students coming from lower socioeconomic status, are constantly having difficulties in improving their proficiency in English. This situation is supported by Bethel and Louis and Gemi and Yazdan Pana that highlighted that insufficiency of resources become the primary concern in improving English language. In Malaysia, the fluctuation of English proficiency happens after the establishment of Bahasa Malaysia as the official language. Therefore, in rural areas, students regarded English as a foreign language instead of a second language. In tertiary education, it is noted that students are having difficulties in securing a place abroad. Therefore, the occurrence resulted lower proficiency in language among Malaysian, especially Malays. Even though Malaysia is ranked the 11th most proficient country of 60 countries according to English Proficiency Index, there is still a small portion of citizens who are not proficient enough in English language. Therefore, in Malaysia, Fresh graduates are usually having difficulties in seeking for jobs due to their lower proficiency in English. Mahadi Kamaluddin supported this view by noting the decline in English language performance, especially among students in rural areas. Therefore, the problem of lower proficiency in English language students in rural areas resulted the difficulties in securing a place in tertiary education as well as job placement. Therefore, it is very crucial to introduce English language learning module at school level in rural area. Apart from the low proficiency among Malaysians, it is also been noted that the insufficiency of learning resources jeopardize the teaching performance of teachers in school. Therefore, it is very, very crucial to provide enough material for instruction to English language teachers. This study aims at investigating the needs of elder students in learning English and identify their perceptions towards English language learning modules as well as the facilitator's perceptions toward the module and the expert's perception to improve the module that will be developed. The research questions were formulated based on the research objective. The first one is what are the needs of elder kids in learning English? What are the students' perception toward English language learning module? What are the facilitators' perception towards the module? As well as what are the experts' perceptions to improve the module? This study is significant to the teachers to identify the students' needs in learning to implement new approach of teaching through the use of the module. This study is also very significant to the students in Felda area to get the opportunity to learn English in a fun and interactive way as well as to be able to engage actively in the classroom. For the researchers, it is very significant to develop and evaluate English language learning module for the students for future use. This study is however limited to a certain circumstances. The first one is the choice of respondent. Due to non-probability sampling technique, the result of the study cannot be generalized into a bigger population and the time frame of this study is small and it is not extended to a certain period and a limited geographical location of the studies because this study only focuses on the students in rural area school and does not include 
students in urban and semi-urban areas. In this study, I will also briefly discuss the definition of the term that will be used throughout this study. Development is the phase where the lesson plan or the lesson materials will be developed and evaluation is the process of evaluating the effectiveness and the efficiency of the instruction. FELDA is the acronym of Federal Land Authority Development that was developed to contribute the well-being of the society in rural area. Secondary students means the students in school who are aged between 30 and 17 years old and social economic status according to APA is the individual social standing or class in a group and the term SAS is widely measured in terms of education, income and occupation. Needs analysis is generally be defined as the assessment that is conducted to obtain fundamental information before developing an approach method techniques that fulfills a learner's need. The theoretical framework of this study is developed based on adding models start from analyze, design, development, implementation, and evaluation. In analyze, I will do a needs analysis to obtain the student's desire, current proficiency, and expectation in language learning. And in design phase, a learning objective will be formulated based on questions theory of second language learning. And in development stage, a specific activities will be selected and will be re reviewed by the experts to improve the efficiency of the module. And implementation, the module will be carried out to the students in FELDA school. And lastly, evaluation phase is where the evaluation process will be conducted to gain students' perceptions, instructors' perception, as well as experts' perception. FELDA and Education Assistance Students in rural area, especially in FELDA area, constantly receive education assistance in terms of scholarships, loans, and English teacher placements, and also science learning center initiatives. And these are the initiatives that has been taken by the government to improve the education of FELDA students. As this module will integrate the use of ICT in ESL learning, I will also discuss the effectiveness and the advantages of integrating ICT in language learning. A lot of researchers have discovered the use of ICT in classroom is one of the most effective steps to be taken in improving the learning in English. Ratson and Monero also noted the importance of ICT materials as the useful resources for teachers to employ teaching and learning activities with their students. And it is also the useful tools for the student to seek for information and materials to prepare for their tasks. This module will be developed and evaluated based on any model starting from analyze phase, design phase, develop phase, implement and evaluate. The underpinning learning theory in this study is the theory of second language learning by questions. This theory stated that the learning of English must be, be, must be made in the most natural order to make sure that the students will not feel anxious and will not feel stressed out when learning the second language. Therefore, the learning of English through the implementation of this module will enable the students to get immersed with the language in their comfort. This module will also be developed according to Cognitive Theory of Multimedia Learning by Mayer in 2005. CTML stated that the learning is better be improved through the use of meaningful connections between words and picture as they learn more deeply than they could have with words and pictures alone. Therefore, the use of multimedia pictures and also words will be useful for the student's language learning. Previously, the researchers have noted significant advantages of the development and evaluation of learning module to students, especially in learning English 
through the integration of ICT materials. Jung in 2010 supported this statement by highlighting that the integration of useful ICT tools such as mobile learning in language teaching could widen the paradigm of language teaching through its uniqueness that can offer a new insight in learning. Previous studies by previous researchers have noted positive effects of implementing language learning module to students in four main skills, reading, writing, listening, and also speaking. The first study by Imoti Bouchan stated that the use of writing module is very appropriate, useful, and relevant to the student needs. And Marisab and Shoba Bandiro in 2015 developed a module to investigate the effectiveness of digital storytelling module in ESL writing classroom. This study noted a positive responses from students and students who involved in this project is able to gain more confidence in communication. The effectiveness of language learning module is supported by two other studies. It shows that students who employ this module are able to learn effectively, especially in English language. Most studies conducted by previous researchers have noted positive improvement in English language through the use of English language learning module. Even though the form of module is differ from one study to another, the students showed a positive attitude towards the module no matter what kind of what forms of modules that they will undergo. This study will employ mixed method design through the use of questionnaires to the students and also interview protocols. The population of this study is Felder secondary students and the samples will be chosen through purposive sampling and the instruments of this study is needs analysis, semi-structured interview questions and reflective notes. The data collection procedures are Survey questionnaires, needs analysis, and semi-structured interview with the students, facilitators, experts, as well as reflective notes. The quantitative data of this study will be analyzed through descriptive analysis using frequency, mean, percentage, and standard deviation, while the qualitative data of this study will be analyzed using verbatim transcription of interviews from students, instructors, as well as the experts and the data gained from three main entities will be triangulated to improve the validity, validity of the data.